The patient handover is one of the most important parts of a clinician's day. It should be done at the beginning and at the end of every shift. It should be done in the quiet room and should be performed verbally and with a paper handover. Each patient should be discussed and the relevant medical history, drug history, allergy status, treatment up until that point and results up until that point should be discussed and handed over. A jobs list should then be made and a priority list made based on the sickest patients and any patients going to theatre. A summary of these jobs should then be performed between the two clinicians. Okay, so you ready to hand over? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Okay, so uh, first patient is Derek Thompson. He's a 68 year old chap who has two days post op tracheostomy, uh, left selected neck dissection, a left hemiplasectomy, and a right radial forearm free flap uh, for a T2 M1 SCC in his tongue. Uh, he, his medical history includes some hypertension and COPD. Uh, so he came up to the ward from HDU yesterday evening. Yeah. Generally, he's doing quite well. Um, his observations are stable. Uh, he's apyrexic. Uh, the cuff's been deflated on his tracheostomy. Um, flap wise, his flap is warm, it's well diffused, it's got a strong Doppler signal. Uh, he's got two drains in the neck. Drain one has drained 20 mils, drain two has drained 50 mils in the last 24 hours. Yeah. He's got an energy tube in place. So including feed and water, his input's been 2840 mils last 24 hours and his output has been 1450 mils. Yeah. Post-op bloods have all been fine, except for his hemoglobin, which is quite low, it's 81. So the plan for today is to repeat his bloods and make sure you double check the hemoglobin uh, today because he may need transfusing. Uh, drain 1 can be removed and uh, we should aim to sit him up of bed most of the day as well. Um, you'll need a review by the chest physio guys and the dietitian, and we need to continue his flap ops. Okay, can I just uh, confirm, how often are we doing flap ops at the moment? Oh, uh, we should do those two to three hours. Okay, fine. Uh, next patient is Matthew Bluebottle. Uh, he's a 34 year old with no learning difficulties, um, who I admitted last night via accident emergency. Uh, that was following an alleged assault uh, during a domestic argument. So he presented with some pain and swelling with the lower jaw. Uh, the OPG and PA mandible show a fractured left angle and fractured right parasympathesis mandible. Uh, he's got a deranged seclusion and some paresthesia of the right lower lip as well. Yep. So head injury wise he's fine. There's no loss of consciousness at the time and he's no other injuries either. Uh, medically he's fit and well. So he's been started on his IV antibiotics and fluids and he's been nil by mouth from midnight. Uh, he's on the acute list and he's consented as well. Okay. Um Given that he's got learning difficulties, what were the issues with consent? What's happening with that? Yeah, we've sorted the consent form out. Uh, we did a consent form four, uh, so I signed that and the registrar signed it as well. Um, and we've had a good chat with him and his mother about the operation, so that's all sorted. Uh, next up is Elsie Andrews, who is an 88 year old lady. Uh, she had a BCC removed from the left forehead and a repair with a full thickness skin graft from her neck on the local installation, and that was done yesterday. Uh, surgically she's well, um, however last night about 11pm she became agitated and tachycardic and um, that sat down with a bit of pain relief and some oxygen. Um, we had an ECG done at the time and that did show some ST uh, changes that weren't present on the pre-assessment ECG. Um, the problem was she couldn't lie still so it's a poor quality ECG. Um, she was reviewed by the medical registrar and the plan is that uh, we should repeat an ECG this morning and take a trip on the level. Um, if they're okay, then she will be discharged home today uh, with a follow-up on clinic in a week. Uh, but if there's any problems or if you're in doubt, um, please ask the medics to come and see her again. Okay. Uh, what time do I need to take the troponin level? Uh, so that'll be 12 hours after the event, so uh, 11 a.m. Okay. Uh, last up is Terence Goodwin. He's a 48-year-old chap admitted two days ago with a dental abscess from his lower left sudden. Uh, he presented with some trismus and uh, marked swelling. Uh, he went to theatre yesterday morning for incision drainage and the lower of uh, So he's got two drains, uh, extra oral, one is submental and one in the submandibular space. Uh, he's on IV, moxicillin and metronidazole. Uh, so you'll need to review him uh, this morning on the ward round. Um, although we got a lot of pus drained uh, during theatre, the swelling hasn't improved um, and there's a chance he might have been collected. 
uh, his airway is fine after patent, uh, but his trismus has persisted. Um, so in case he needs to go out to theatre, he's been staffed uh, from midnight and the um, decision has been made this morning on the ward round. Okay, has he, has he had a good code that we've taken? Yeah, it was uh, 5.5 on admission. Um, and otherwise his bloods are okay, apart from he's got some raised inflammatory markers. Okay. Can I just clarify everything with you before you go? Mm -hmm. um, so Terence Goodwin with dental abscess. Essentially, we're going to make a decision on the ward round this morning whether he needs to go back to theatre or not. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, and the lady with the BCC, she needs an urgent proponent at 11 a.m. as priority because she could potentially be quite unwell. Exactly. Okay. And a repeat uh, uh, ECG this morning. And a repeat ECG, well. okay. That's great. Um, Matthew Greenbottom with a fractured mandible. He's all sorted and ready to go, is he? Yes, he's yes. all teed up, yeah. Okay. And Derek Thompson, the major from this week. Just um, sort of doing regular flap ops, making sure the blood's done, chasing those, having a drain out, and chasing sort of chest physio and dietitian as the other sort of exactly. jobs. Okay. Yeah. And don't, don't forget to check out Seam Burger as well. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Are you happy? Yep, yeah, happy. Thanks. Okay.